Hello, I'm very fortunate to be interviewing Kester Co. Is it Kester Co? Yes. Good. We're going to get his name right. It's very important. Uh, he's the principal urban designer of ACOM. What's ACOM? Well, ACOM, well, um, a lot of people actually don't know about ACOM. We are very... I only do because we've had something to do with them. But I thought I'd just give you an opportunity to explain what ACOM is. Yeah, so ECOM is a large international um, organization focused on engineering and architecture consulting across the world. We have 100,000 staff internationally and in New Zealand we've got close to around 700 staff with offices around um, around every major cities around New Zealand. Yeah, no, that's excellent. So, um, Kester, tell me, um, were you born in New Zealand? I was originally born in Hong Kong and uh, my family and I moved over here um, in 1996 before the changeover. Right. So I grew up here and studied here um, as well as practice over here. Um, so I've spent almost close to 20 years. Fantastic. So your parents are here, obviously? Yes. Yeah, that's right. So tell me about voting, uh, because you know you came from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. If you know Hong Kong's a democracy, you would have voted there. Abs absolutely. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a very interesting dynamic that's happening at the moment in Hong Kong. But I probably will not dwell on to that too much today. We're talking about voting for the New Zealand flag. So I think it is a fantastic opportunity for individuals to have a right to have a say about what which flag do we actually want to want to actually represent our country. Um, it is great that we have uh, um, an old national flag that has um, a lot of our heritage within it. But in the mm. same time, we should really consider and embrace and say a new identity that we should be embracing. Mm. Yeah. It's hard though. I mean, it is you hard. know, some migrants come from countries mm. where they don't have a hand of voting. Absolutely. So, so, I mean, do you find that with your friends? Some of them just don't vote. They just say, "Well, I don't know what the flag referendum is about." Absolutely, I've yeah. found that. And um, well, some well, I think it is important to to vote and just to say what, what, which one, which flag do you like more, and what, what do you think it actually represents? And actually, I was doing some research today on this matter and find out that um, you don't actually even have to be in the country to vote for the second referendum. Yes. You can actually vote for it overseas as so well. So did you vote in the first referendum? Yes, I did yes. vote for the first yeah. referendum. I did too. I, d I just thought, well, this is quite historic, really. Mm. As a constitutional lawyer, I thought, you should vote in <laughs> this flag referendum. And I'm going to vote in the second one. Mm. Just because there was quite there was quite a substantial turnout, despite the fact it was a ballot vote. Mm -hmm. So so tell me, um, what do you think we can do to encourage more migrants to vote? Because you know we've got the local government elections later this year, we've got central government elections next year. Yes, today. yes. I think um the first the first thing is actually letting people know that there is this opportunity mm -hmm. to actually vote for, for these things. Because like a lot of um more immigrants as mm -hmm. well as locals, when they actually went overseas, they didn't quite kept up to date with what's been happening in, in their country, mm. um, in New Zealand. So mm. they should actually um, just, if we can help them to get a more understanding of what is actually happening, mm. like myself, I will be texting my um, sister-in-law and uh, my, bro my brother-in-law overseas to let them know that they should be voting for um, uh, uh, to, to consider to be voting uh, as part of this referendum. Yeah, no, mm. absolutely. So if you wanted to say something to camera mm -hmm. and encourage your fellow migrants to vote, what would you say? <laughs> well, I'd say it is um, exercise your rights. It's not often that you get a chance to vote for what your um, what the country's flag represents. Um, hopefully you can find a flag between the two that will, we think is uh, more appropriate for New Zealand future. Thank you. Thanks, Kester.